Welcome back and happy Monday. I hope all of you were able to enjoy your weekend as best as you could, considering the factors we had in the forecast. The good news is things are starting to kind of level out this week. So we do have some changes, but they're just not going to be as severe as what we experienced last week and even over the weekend. First, we have a look here, of course, at your current temperatures. If you're getting ready to head out the door right now, or if you're just starting your morning with us here on daybreak, still pretty close to the low to mid 60s. So Things look pretty normal here. We're not seeing any temperatures in the 80s or the 70s this morning. But looking ahead to that 9 o'clock hour, that's when we'll start to warm up across our coastal valleys and our inland valleys. As you can see right here, we're already expecting low 70s for Paso, San Luis Obispo, Solvang, as well as Santa Barbara. And of course, we need to talk about the smoke forecast because although we don't have an air quality alert in place, we could still have some hazy sky conditions across the region for your Monday. And you can see that here on this map. It is continu continuing to move into that northward direction. Doesn't mean we won't see some of it, though, here on the central coast. So just be aware of that. If you do have any pre-existing health conditions, if you're a little bit more sensitive, it's something to be aware of and just be ready for for this Monday. Coastal forecast. So for today along the north coast and really for the central coast, south coast as well, we could experience a little bit of patchy fog. And then we do have some southerly winds picking up by this afternoon. They'll be light to start out, and then they could reach some moderate levels as we carry on into your afternoon hours. And it will help to kind of move that marine layer out of the area. We're again starting to see that along the coast this morning. And then we'll be left with some mid to high level stratus heading into late afternoon and this evening. We'll see the return of it. And at some points, actually, if it does become dense enough, we could have a little bit of light precipitation in the form of mist for tomorrow morning. Here's a look at the wind forecast for the rest of the central coast. So winds will be ranging anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. I know that's a pretty wide range, but you can see the wind gusts will mainly stay concentrated over parts of our coastal and inland valley communities. And if we take a look at the inland valleys, southwesterly winds, moderate to gusty wind speeds there, wind gusts from 20 to 25 miles per hour. And I feel the need to talk about these temperatures we have this week because they're so different from what we had over the weekend and especially last week. They're right around average to start things off. So we're still warm for Paso, but this is what we're used to for the month of August, right around 90 degrees. And actually the last record that was set for this day was back in 2010 when we reached 109. Different story for today, though. That's the good news here. 90 degrees in Paso, as I mentioned, mid 80s for San Luis Obispo, as well as Santa Barbara. Santa Maria is still on the warmer side too, upper 70s there. We'll have a mix of 80s and 90s across your Santanez Valley, mid to upper 70s for the five cities region. It's still pretty warm there for San Miguel, close to the mid 90s. Back to you. Thanks, Brooke. The time is 5.45.